Madre Maria, gracia plena, Dominus Tecum, Diego Se. Welcome back to this program about devotions to Our Lady and how to devotion to Our Lady and how to move ahead in our spiritual life. If you have any doubts or you are wondering what the program is about, go back to the very first episode and you will find what we really mean when we talk about the saints, when we talk about what the saints have to say about spiritual life and then how it relates to Our Lady. And we are working on this phrase of St. John of Arc, St. John of Arc, that providential young lady that appeared in France in the, uh, in the middle of a tremendous war between France and England. And her prophetic vocation was amazing and was really mysterious at the same time. But we are going to focus into one of her phrases that tells a lot about our own spiritual life and at the same time about the real meaning we have on understanding everything we do and the meaning of what we do. So she says, one life is all we have and we live it as we believe in living it. But to sacrifice what you are and to live without belief, that is a fate more terrible than dying. So in the last program, we were talking about how much we need to grow in devotion to Our Lady because that is the key answer to all our defects. <laughs> That's the key remedy to everything that is a shortcoming in us. But not only that, we also have the other part of the phrase which says, but to sacrifice what you are and to live without belief, that is a fate more terrible than dying. So if we live a life without goals, if we live a life without meaning, if we live a life without that authenticity that make us, makes us free, we are actually not free people, we are enslaved. And that's probably one of the worst slaveries because it's a slavery that is negative, it's a slavery that is at the same time very narrowing and is a slavery that steals from us the true meaning of our vocation. When, when, when she says um, to live a life without belief means we are not paying attention at all on one single point, what God calls us to be. And sometimes we get tricked by the word vocation. Because sometimes we associate vocation immediately with religious life. We immediately associate vocation with uh, immediately uh, a responsibility that is related to something as cloistered life, as a priesthood. And it's not that. Vocation means, probably in very current terms, means your place in the universe, <laughs> means your place on planet Earth, means where is your place in the 21st century, and why? Because God chose us to be born in a specific time, with a specific mission, that He thought before the whole creation. And now in His generosity, God was not stingy, you know. He decided to create us and to give us a mission. But what is this mission? This mission means that we have a role to play in his plan. This role can be small, can be big, but it matches perfectly with the size of our gifts, with the amount of our capabilities, and also with the vision God gave us. And all those three things put together are actually very related to the word vocation. But if we never spend time trying to find out what our place in life is, or worse, we never paid attention 
to that. Or maybe we paid attention a little, and yet it was like a fleeting thought, went away, and that's it. So what happens? It is like being in a, on a trip, but we do not know where we are going. And it's one of the most deceiving things, frustrating things. Imagine you're in a plane, and all of a sudden, you actually got distracted, or for some reason you forgot, and now you do not know where you are going. It must be frightening. It must be terrible. But that, that could happen to a person in a plane sitting for 9, 10, 12 hours, and the person just doesn't know where the person is going. How much more frustrating could be a life in which we are traveling all the time, but to a place that we don't even know. We actually don't even know where we are. So here, the phrase of St. John of Arc is going to help, you, help us a lot, because it says, to sacrifice what you are, we're going to talk about that a little bit later, but to live without belief, that is a fate more terrible than dying. So everybody is afraid nowadays so much of these horrendous epidemics, pandemics that is going around, that is responsible for so many deaths and so many frightening deaths. But worse than that is to live without belief. And someone would say, well, but how are we going to find this belief? How are we going to find our vocation? How are we going to understand all of this? You see, once we reach a point where we are really wandering, and once we reach a point where we do not know what to do, this is the moment when our lady comes into the picture. Because remember that no one who has, who has asked Our Lady for strength, no one who has asked Our Lady for help was never, ever turned around, turned away. So, so important it is to have devotion to Our Lady. And this is the real meaning of this phrase. So, when you realize that you don't know your vocation yet or you have never thought about it, when you realize that you are living a life that is not faithful to your beliefs, don't be frightened, don't be afraid. That's probably one of the best moments of our spiritual life because that prepares us to lose our hopes in ourselves and to turn our hopes to the Mother of God. So that explains maybe why we have to have devotion to her. Why we have to turn to her? Because she's the mother of God and she's our mother. So our life of prayer has to be super important in our life. When we realize by, our, by ourselves we can't do nothing, that's when Our Lady comes into the picture. So pick up the rosary. Start saying the rosary every day. If you already do say the rosary every day, place very specific intentions. And Our Lady is going to hear, she's going to listen to you, and she's going to provide you with the right answers. Hope to see you soon. Salve Maria.